Yo, what's up, guys? James Carter TV here to talk about the NCAA Championship Men's Basketball Edition, if you will. But before I get into all of that, if you are new to this channel, make sure to click right up there in that corner to subscribe for more videos and make sure to follow me on Twitter at James Carter TV. With that said, let's get into this men's basketball championship. Now, I'm a casual fan. I'm one of those idiots that maybe some of you hardcore fans don't like. I'm one of those idiots who fill out a bracket. They don't know anything. They know some stuff. They know, you know, some stuff related to the NBA. You know, they know Andrew Wiggins. They know Jabari Parker. They know Julius Randle, but they don't know real college basketball like UConn I couldn't name you one person on UConn before this tournament and yet here they are they are the champions they beat Kentucky 60 to 54 and really what it was a great overall performance for them but I still feel as if Kentucky is the ones to blame that UConn really didn't win it that Kentucky kind of lost and they weren't able to hold on to the opportunity because UConn was really trying to let this game go. They were really trying at the beginning of the second half. They were trying to me. They were trying to give the game to Kentucky, but Kentucky couldn't take it. There was a six and a half minute, almost seven minute stretch when UConn couldn't make a field goal. They had no field goal scored. They only had free throws, about two, three free throws over this six and a half minute stretch, but Kentucky, Kentucky couldn't get that run going, like they had a great run against, um, against Jesus, well, what am I doing here, against, uh, wow, I'm, I sound like an idiot, don't I? Who did they, Wisconsin, a 15-0 run against Wisconsin in the Final Four, they couldn't get that type of run. They would have the big plays, the big dunks, but they never put together a great run to burst through that plateau because they would always get to one beneath, one under UConn, but they couldn't burst through there and take the lead. And that's unfortunate for them because I was rooting for Kentucky, not you know avid. I mean, I'm not. I'm I'm happy for UConn. Congratulations, but I liked the way uh, Kentucky was playing. I found their play to be exciting, to be fun to watch. I like when you know these freshman teams win stuff. I like it. Uh, and and you know NBA talent and Julius Randle. I like seeing that. I think it's a good story. But you know UConn won. Congratulations to UConn. Congratulations to Shabazz Napier because we already know he's the MVP. He had about 22 points today. He and Boatwright were God. They were going at each other, but they got it done. UConn wins the men's championship, and tomorrow they may win the women's. I mean, that's unbelievable to me that the UConn men and women could both win. That's unbelievable. I mean, the women have been consistently great for years. The UConn men have been great under Jim Calhoun or John Calhoun. Is it John or Jim? I don't know. I'm casual. Um, and now with Kevin Ollie, uh, who I know very well, from his NBA days, he is now at UConn, and they're back to a winning program, so it's good to see him doing well, but again, I felt for Kentucky because I wanted Kentucky to win, so what were your, uh, what were your thoughts on this, if you're a hardcore college basketball fan, educate me on anything I got wrong, James Carter TV, I'm out, peace.